Hello everybody. I am Sunny, your North Country Knitter, and welcome to today's video. It is October. Got the month right, <laughs> unlike last week. October 16th, 2021. Yeah. This is episode 67, and welcome. <laughs> so, ooh, first of all, it's kind of warm in here. So, uh, Forgive me if I'm like sweating. I've got some tea with me. I've got some stash. This is Asian Pear Harmony. It's very good. Um, so it's a Saturday. Normally I try to film on Tuesdays, trying to get back into our normal schedule. Uh, but my youngest daughter has stopped taking naps. <laughs> Um, I'm partly to blame for that. She is two. She's just over two years old and she was taking naps, but then staying awake until like 10 o'clock at night, which is past my bedtime. So I wanted to put an end to that right away. <laughs> so she has not been taking naps, which is normally when I film my videos. Um, and since she is two and it's just me here on the weeks. Uh, my husband's working away. Um, I'm not comfortable not having eyes on her while filming. So I had to push my filming back this week until Saturday when my husband was home. So that's why I'm a little late getting this video up. I do have some whips to show you some finished objects, objects, some acquisitions and I'm excited to dive in. Um, I do actually have notes with me this time, so I have names and, and everything like that, so I'm like on it today. Uh, I was up early. We, um, if you don't know, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, if you're not, you know that we're in the process of selling this house, buying a new house, and moving to Vermont. So we had an open house today and so I was up early cleaning and just we had a viewing earlier this week. So some of my knitting time has been devoted to cleaning. Uh, that's okay. And also to updating my Etsy shop. I'm putting a lot of new things on my Etsy shop. So if you're curious, there is a link down below. It's mostly finished. Well, it's all finished objects. So, all right, <sighs> deep breath. <laughs> I've had to do that a lot, like just stop what I'm doing, do like a couple seconds of meditation. Of okay, like deep breath, it'll all work out. Um, so I am participating in a spooky sock make along for October and it's being hosted by um, Moon Glow Yarn Company. Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady and Nitty Natty. I don't watch her videos enough to know her name. Natalie. Nitty Na I'm going to say it's Natalie and then I'm going to be like, nope, that's completely wrong. I do have her, I'm subscribed to her on YouTube, but I never get a chance to watch her. She just moved, didn't she? Anyway, so the Spooky Socks. They are coming right along. They're actually almost done. I only have like this much more that I want to do on the leg. I don't want them super duper long. Um, and then I'm going to do the cuff in the orange color here. This is Hawthorne yarn and it is, um, this color is pumpkin and this color is bewitched. And this pattern is blueberry waffle and it's by Sandy Turner. And I will have um, her, it linked down below. Most patterns, if they have a pattern that I'm using, I have them linked down below if I can. Um, normally it's from Ravelry, so I have no idea if it takes you to the actual Ravelry page or like through my projects or libraries, I don't know. But uh, here they are, I really like how this dark color in here is like slowly twisting around. I think that's really cool. And I've got 
my little row counter. I really don't need it because it's just a four row repeat, but that is from Twice Shared Cheap. And it's a little bumblebee. Um, so just a little bit further on these. I have really enjoyed working on these, but as you'll see in a minute, I have some plans for just some straight stockinette stitching just plain vanilla socks. <laughs> um, I, I really just want to like decompress on my knitting. Um, I have a lot going on as, as you can tell <laughs> from the move and everything. So I just want easy peasy knitting, but yeah, they will definitely be done by Halloween because at this point I can stop them really anytime. I just want them a little bit longer. So Hopefully I will have those done by the next time we film. Um, ooh, I dropped my yarn. So there are those. And then for my grandmother, my Graham, <laughs> I am making some Christmas stockings. And I'm using the Autumn Acorns uh, Magic Heel because I was a little worried about the shoe size. Cause I know, um, she has smaller feet than me and I just was worried, like I'm going to get the heel wrong and I really want her to be able to wear them. And you know, I don't want her to have cold feet in winter, <laughs> main winters, they're cold. So I went with the magic heel because I know that was pretty, um, safe bet. And this is how they are turning out. They're a little off. They're like fraternal twins. They're not identical twins. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like slightly off which is kind of hard to tell by how I'm holding them but there we go they're like half half color sections off but I am okay with that and I'm just about done the heel and then I'll do the leg and um, a two by two cuff and then bind off there's actually a lot still left in this so I'm hoping maybe I will be able to get a pair of shorty socks out of these um, cause there's a ton left and this is, do I have, I do, I have a wrapper here. This is Christmas sock wool. It's 73% superwash wool, 25% polyamide and 2% polyester. And it's from Hobie. Last I saw this, this yarn is in stock. You buy it in singles or three packs, I believe. And it was in stock, but it's been a couple days since I looked. And this is color five. And it's a super fine. And I had them on my, I believe these are my Haya Haya's. Yep, Haya Haya's 1.5 US, 2.5 millimeters. So hoping to get those done. I'm really having a hard time because I just really want to finish these. But then I force myself to stop and work on these. Um, because I want to make sure I get those done, which I know I will. Um, now I know I will, but I've been holding off working on these all the time. I also got some new chai goo needles, which I will talk about those in just a minute. So those are my two sock projects. I am working on my Christmas stocking. I've made some progress on it. Just a little bit. This, I'm definitely having this be a labor of love. So here it is. This is Mary Max and Mr. Claus Christmas stocking. And I've got his eyes just about done if they're not all done. So labor of love, I pick this up when I feel like it and I will make sure it's done by Christmas, but it's, you can tell I'm definitely not so great at carrying my yarn suits. So I'm trying to be more careful, but I can tell like he's just, his face is a little crinkled, <laughs> but this is what the back looks like. I just, I carry my yarn too tightly um, to do it well, to do it without those crinkles in there, but I'm trying. 
and this is a paid for pattern again i will have it linked down below and i picked it up when mary maxim was having their pattern sale for 99 cents so and then i think i'll either put her name or her name is short enough to do in her name so I know I don't say my girls' names often, and that's mostly, you know, for privacy's sake. Um, plus, you know, when they grow up, maybe they don't want their names on YouTube videos. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I know I don't say their name often. That's just for my privacy and their privacy. But, uh, yeah, her, her name should fit up there. But that is the coming right along. I'll probably pick that up again this week because I'm, I think I'm done his eyes. And then that's one less color to worry about. I'm going to grab some tea. All right, finish objects. This hat, <laughs> this hat I showed on Instagram, pretty sure I showed on like two or three videos back and then completely forgot to share it again when I finished it had it up here the last time I filmed and then completely forgot to show it again so this is the July hat by Courtney Kelly and I suppose I can get a little bit closer this is using Metallico yarn from Hobie in the colors something blush um, and I don't know if it's going to fit on my head because my hair is up. Oh, it does. All right. So I was actually really surprised at how well I like this yarn. Um, I got four balls of it and this didn't even use up a whole ball. And I thought for sure it was going to. I thought I was going to have to use like two balls when I saw the size of them because they're like this big. I don't see it. I had one. No, nope, don't know where it is. Um, it might have gotten packed. So I wanted to do a review on this because I really did enjoy it. I think, I feel like this was one of my first times using a um, chainette yarn. It's the first time I remember using one, so I don't know, <laughs> but I did really enjoy it. It came out really pretty and I liked that pattern with it just kind of a little more subtle, but still shows off the, um, the shine of the yarn. We're having a rainy day here, which is why I had the light on so bright. So the colors are not coming off quite true to color. I feel like that's showing up a little more tan and it's definitely more of a blush. So there's that one that I finally talked about. I felt so bad. I had um, shown it on Instagram, which you can find me on Instagram at North Country Knitter and then completely forgot to mention it. This one, I still have to weave in the ends, but this is the Wrap Together hat by Dawn Prickett. Yes, Prickett. And she is from Toy Sheer Cheap. And again, the yarn I used was slightly wrong because this came out a little bit bigger than I was expecting, which is my fault. But it does still fit. And now it's a little bit of a slouchy hat. And <laughs> still need to wait in those ends. It fits with my hair up, which I like because I normally have my hair up lately. Um, so this one, I will show you, I will get it a little bit closer together or closer to the camera. I think what she used was like two yarns held together and I just used this yarn. And again, I can't remember what this is. I can't remember where I got it, but it does do that triple wrap, which is really, I'd never seen that before or never knew what it was, but and I, I messed up on the crown, go figure. Uh, but it still came out really pretty. And 
So I'm happy with that. Definitely going to need it this winter. Nice warm woolly hat. And so that is that one. All right. Finish object number three. See, that's, that's the thing about waiting so long between filmings. You get stuff done, but then you can't remember what you've shown. <laughs> this is the blanket I was working on. And this is just a corner to corner. I'm going to stand up. So, um, and this is using Premier Toy Box, which I got in a Mystery Mary Maxim box. And this is the color Yo-Yo. And then this is Yarn Bee, Baby Bee Chunky, I think. My kid, my, my kids, they got a hold of the wrappers. <laughs> and I just alternated, alternated, altern, alternated whoa skeins so down here we have one of the toy box and then the blue and then one of the toy box in the middle and then the blue again and i thought i would be able to get to the end but could not so there's that little bit of blue on the end but i wanted this to be a nice big like utility blanket type baby blanket one you wouldn't really have to worry about like oh the baby spit up on it now it needs to be washed throw it in the washer no hand washing necessary <laughs> so that is what I was going for and that's what I got I do like it I was a little worried that I wouldn't like the blue with this I thought it wasn't gonna look great I was thinking man I should have gone with the white but white and babies sometimes doesn't go well, <laughs> at least not with my kids. White and them didn't didn't mix well. So I went with blue when I initially bought it and I'm happy with how it turned out. So yay for that. That is done. I'm gonna give her a couple little baby washcloths and get that over to her shortly. So acquisitions number one i am a very bad influence not only <laughs> for myself but for others so i packed up all this yarn and it's like i'm not buying anymore and then technically i didn't buy this one so my girls and i dyed some yarn this is just using kool-aid and what we did was dip dyed it into pink lemonade and then speckle dyed it with grape and cherry kool-aid and i don't know how well it's going to show up on here with the pink kool-aid you can kind of tell there's some oh and there's some yellow in there too there's some lemonade um you can kind of tell like right here it's a lot more pink than here and that's not from the red, that's from the actual Kool-Aid from when I dipped it in. Did dye up really quickly when I dip dyed it in that pink Kool-Aid. So, oh, there, you can tell the difference right there. Um, and then I knew it was gonna be <laughs> very heavily uh, splotched in some spots because my, my two-year-old was there. I think she actually like grabbed a hold of it there with her. <laughs> It was, it was cute to watch, a little stressful um, because I didn't want the counters to get, you know, all messy because it's only in the house, people seeing it, but it turned out fun and I'm hoping to make some socks for them for Christmas. They're just going to be very, very easy socks, nothing, nothing complicated about them at all, but I thought that would be fun for them to be able to dye the yarn and then get socks out of it so um you can't really see and in this lighting i can't really tell where much of the yellow is the yellow really didn't come through at all there's a little bit right there you might be able to tell but i don't think so it's not really coming through um but so i got that and then I was watching K 
Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady. Uh, I will have her link down below. And she has her own um, yarn company, I guess you call it. It's an LLC, but she brings in, she, she buys wholesale. There we go, wholesale. And so I saw some yarns on there that I wanted. And well, I needed new knitting needles. I went down a size, I got US ones to see if that kind of, um, well, obviously it will make <laughs> my socks a little bit tighter, but um, I wanted to see how this would affect um, my socks and see if they are a little bit more, not that they're uncomfortable, but I wanted to see if I liked them a little bit snugger. So I got some Chai Goo lace and these are US ones. And then she had this on there, which was really pretty. And this is Mama Just Knits. And I will have her, I know she's on Instagram. I'll see what I can link down below. Um, I'll get that up nice and close so you can see it. So she has her own Etsy shop, but I thought those were really nice, fun fall colors. And so this is called Fall Vibes and it's 463 yards of fingering sock weight. It's 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon and it's hand wash and lay flat to dry. So I thought that one was really pretty. I wanted something pretty folly. And then this one is called Sheep Dipped Dye Works. And this is called Rosy Goes Topless, which I think is in homage to Kay's Jeep, which she calls Rosy. And I thought those were really pretty. So both of them are just, I'm gonna be starting on them real soon and just plain stocking at stitch. I just want some vanillas. And these ones were neat because they're called two at a time socks. And she has them already split up, so you just have to put you just have to ball them up. And I was a fan with that. Didn't have to bring out the scale out or anything. Um, so pretty excited for those. And then, so my girls this year for Halloween are going to be Dino Dana, a Titana Boa, which is a, a prehistoric ginormous snake. And then some other type of dinosaur, which since we went to Watertown with today, we probably should have looked for a dinosaur costume for her, but forgot. Um, which was all stuff that we got from Salvation Army and thrift store. But when I was at the thrift store, I saw that they had this little bag and it was $1.99 for, or it was $1.99 for this. Oops. And then 99 cents for this. So this is Mary Maxim's aloe sock yarn. I have no idea how old that would be, but it was in pretty good condition. And so I thought I'd be able to make some socks for the girls. And this is in colorway Desert Sky. It is a discontinued yarn. So it's approximately 230 yards. So thrift store find. And then this, I think I've seen other people make socks out of these. It's wool free lace. It's premier yarn. It's 448 yards and it's 88% acrylic, 7% BBT, and then 5% metallic. I've heard other people say what the BBT is, but I cannot remember what it is for the life of me. And I've looked on Ravelry and it looked like a lot of people made socks out of it, but it is this really pretty green with the metallic that goes through it. And so I'm probably going to make some socks out of it. It is nice and springy and it does remind me of their wool free socks. So we're going to see where it goes. I could make some St. Patty's Day socks out of those. 
And since it is, I have two of them at 448 yards, maybe the girls and I will get matching sets. So what else? Do I have anything else? <sighs> Not really. I did find while I was cleaning up and reorganizing, I did find this, which I started like over a year ago. And it was supposed to be a little shawl. And this is from Rosetti Yarns <sighs> Alpaca Lentz. That's how I'm going to say that. And my friend Anna gave this to me forever ago. And it's 76% acrylic, 9% wool, 9% alpaca, and 6% glitter. And it's 490 meters, which is 536 yards. And I want to make a shawl out of it. And I just started doing something. I thought, oh, I'll make up my own pattern. Now I don't really know what's going on. I think I'm doing a yarn to a yarn over twice on each side. So yarn over or knit one, yarn over, yarn over, knit to the end, knit one, yarn over, yarn over, knit to the end. But I don't know what shape it's going to come out unless it's going to be really round, really big, really swoopy. We're going to find out. I'm going to go with it. So that's what I'm doing with this. It is really pretty. It's got lots of greens and blues in there. And I think it looks like that sparkle is mostly gives off a green hue the whole way through. So that is what I'm doing. So that's what I've been up to. I am sorry for the long delay between video filming, filming. I apologize. If you're still here with me, thanks for sticking out till the end. Um, I am trying to... Now that I know, okay, naps are no longer a thing. Saturdays will become filming days. Most weekends, my husband gets home. So hopefully that's what happens. If not, maybe they go on play dates because mama needs break sometimes, right? Right? I love my girls, <laughs> obviously. I like all these plans to knit things for them, but... I do value my alone time and I definitely need some alone time sometimes, especially with everything going on. So, but they're all doing good. They're excited for the move and we're just waiting for it to happen. We're at the very tail end of everything for the house we're buying. So hopefully it, everything just comes together everything just comes together. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, please consider subscribing. Um, if you like this put video, please hit the like button. It does help me get noticed more. And um, yeah, you can also hit that notification bell that tells that will let you know when I have posted a new video. So we're at 29 minutes. So I'm going to let you go. Thank you all for hanging out with me and letting me share my stuff with you. And I will talk to you all soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Bye.